Scooters. Their popularity recently peaked due to exuberant gas prices, so what better time to buy one? Enter the Automoto. Its engine is based on the popular and efficient four-stroke 150cc Honda GY6 engine and features a CVT gearless automatic transmission making it suitable for traffic jam cities. And it's no wuss thanks to posi-motion traction in its rear wheels and ABS brakes, which is just a complicated way of saying it can start and stop efficiently. Hey guys, it's Kristen from Gadget Review. Today we're testing out the Automoto. It's a uh, scooter but it's not any ordinary scooter. In fact, it's a three-wheeled scooter. And what that means is that you don't need a motorcycle license to operate this vehicle. You, know, you can just actually use a C-Class regular driver's license. Now, it varies from state to state, but at least in California, we know it's applicable. Now, other notable features on this vehicle, of course, are a uh, trunk, something that doesn't generally come standard with any scooter. It measures one and a half by one and a half feet, which means you could probably fit two to three large grocery bags in there. Uh, it's a two-seater, covered roof, wind complete windshield, so you're protected from the elements, complete wiper blade with uh, cleaning fluid that actually injects from the wiper itself. We, of course, have uh, what is the rocker locker, which prevents the vehicle from tipping over. That's very important, so when you actually park the vehicle, it prevents somebody from walking up and just knocking the thing down. Now this is a test model, so they'll be adding additional features when they actually go to production in the next few months. One of the features they're going to add is a AM, FM, MP3 controller. So you can plug in your favorite iPod and listen your tunes over four speakers. Two in the back, two in the front. Some other notables are a cell phone signal indicator, so somehow it picks up the cell phone signal and a light actually blinks on the dash, notifying you of a call and there will be an option for a carbon fiber-like dash. Not a real carbon fiber dash, but carbon fiber-like. Uh, enough chit-chat, let's go drive this thing. At first start, I didn't know how to turn the automotive, which is more to do with my lack of driving a scooter than anything else. But after a few moments and realizing it was more about leaning than actual turning, I was enjoying all that the automotive had to offer. The braking system, although reactive, is a bit odd since the rear brake takes the form of a foot pedal as opposed to a standard handbrake. We didn't spec this thing out with 0-60 to 60 course times or run a quarter mile, but it's nippy enough to traverse any of the most traffic heavy streets of the world. Now that was a fantastic experience. So why the Automoto? I'll tell you why. At 83 miles per gallon, it is providing fuel economy that is about three to four times of any car on the road today. Would I recommend it? Probably not for the long-term commuter. At a top speed of about 60 miles per hour, it could prove a little bit challenging on highways, but for anybody looking for a little bit of fun on the weekends, touring around on the road with friends and family, absolutely. I'm Kristen Acosta for Gadget Review, your gadget site for news, reviews, and deals.